Yeah, I'm not answering it. I don't know that person. So, so stop. Oh. Really? Oh, I didn't get it the first three times. Oh, you're not, you're not done yet. Oh, okay. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yo, what is going on you guys back with another one chilling again today been craving McDonald's for a few days after work the other day I went at like 3 a.m. In the morning. I went to the one nearest to my work It was ram-packed jam-packed city was hot things were popping people were like just too too all up in there like noisy drunk The workers looked like they wanted to just themselves. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go to this location I'm gonna stop at the one closest to my final destination went there same story. I guess it was because the long weekend I couldn't deal with it so for a few days, I just been craving McDonald's. I just needed to do it. I have a double quarter pounder, add lettuce, tomato, mayo. I've been wanting to try these seriously chickens. Um, I guess it's like supposed to be like super real, like breast meat chicken. Uh, they have like the tomato mozzarella version or the BLT. That's the one I got. And then obviously a nice cold drink here. I got the orange Fruitopia. I loves me some Fruitopia. I'm actually just gonna pull these out, pull everything out and put it on a plate. Cause I just feel like these are gonna obstruct the view of everything. All right, double quarter pounder looking Pop in. Eat seriously chicken, lettuce, tomato, bacon, mayo. It's got like an artisan bun. Large fry. Pick up the scraps. Mm -mm -mm. That right there, ladies and gents, is a meal fit for a hungry ass guy. That orange drink. Oh, savor the flavor. That's got that summer sweat. I'm always very calculated with that. I don't know if there's people out there, but I know like Miss Hoodie, for example, she is a, a chugger and not like a ratio saver. Like I always sip in accordance with like how much food I have. Like it always lines up. I, and I always have like a final slam at the end to like clear everything out. Running out of a drink before I'm out of the food is no go for me. All right, this is gonna be difficult. I feel like I need like two plates here to be honest. Oh well, well, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go in with the quarter pounder first. Cheers. I knew it. Let's just do this. I just want to get a few bites. So bomb. Amazing. So a couple crazy work stories. Years back, I was working at a restaurant. And if any of you work in restaurants and don't do this, please do this in the, in the future going forward. When you're closing, especially if it's a female closing, there should always be two people to lock up and do everything at the end. Especially in like a bar culture, if you're like, you know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. There's drunk sketches and things like that. Never leave a female alone, for sure. Never leave anybody alone to close, to be honest, but a female even more so just because, I mean, let's be honest, they're more vulnerable, right? So my manager, she, uh, she felt comfortable with staying back to close alone. Do all the cash out and everything. Because she was the GM of the store. Like, she was the head honcho. She was, like, in her 40s or whatever. And uh, she... So everybody, you know, left and whatever. And she stayed back to close. And... We 
where I was working, it was a large restaurant. I'm talking like 300 seats. So a big place. Easy for someone to come in late, real late when almost nobody's there, go hide somewhere, remain undetected, and when the time's right, strike. So that's precisely what happened. I guess on further review on the cameras later after the uh, incident, it would appear he was able to come in late, go into the bathroom. He somehow hid out in there undetected because he came in like when essentially nobody was left. He waited till everybody was gone, except for her, obviously. Walked into the kitchen, grabbed a steel skillet, tucked the corner by the managerial's office, or by the manager's office. Waited for her. Smash. Domed her on the back of the head. Knocked her out. Tied her up. Went in the office. Took all the money she was counting. All the cash from the end of the day. Grab that shit, dipped. They didn't find they didn't find her till the next day. The opener came in. I mean, luckily, this was at like four a.m. in the morning, so this was on like a Friday night. The opener came in at like eleven or ten, even because the bartenders had to be there at like ten. So you know, she was at like alone and tied up for like six hours or whatever, but. Came in, found her, obviously proceeded to call the cops, and then from there just all the motions ensued. Check the cameras, da -da, see exactly what happened. Try to see if they can identify the guy. Try to put out like a chase on him, you know? Never found him. He never got arrested. Because he was smart, he had, you know, shit covering his face and She couldn't identify him because she never saw him. Mm. This burger is killing it. So, maybe you're a small business owner, maybe you work for a small business where they feel comfortable letting you close a loan, don't do it. Or if you do, just be very smart about it. Always make sure your doors are locked. Check everything. Check all the room, all rooms. Bathrooms everywhere. Make sure the area is secure and cleared, and then go do your shit. All right, that's pretty crazy story one. Actually, that's a really crazy story one. So, the next story was last year, last summer. I was working on a, same thing, another restaurant, but it was the, it's an outdoor patio. 
essentially their whole restaurant is just a giant patio and then there's like a little like standalone bar and kitchen like hut essentially just enough for people to like put their bags in and store like some stuff but other than that it's like it's not an actual building it's just a huge patio with this like kitchen and bar just chilling like a satellite kitchen and bar excuse me And this kitchen, sorry, and this patio is right down by the water, like literally beside the water. And right where it is, is where these like city water tour boats and also like night party boats. Uh, dock and take off from to pick up new people go check the, the you know the city out from the water and also um, night party boats so DJs go on people go on party 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 blah 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 and these boats are you know they have like cabins and uh, you know places to actually like sleep in because the, they're like you know boats that were once used for that converted into like a money-making machine so they have bedrooms and all that stuff on them. So one night we get done work and in the summertime at this place where I worked, it was just like tradition to almost every shift, if not every shift, everybody who's on shift, you know, who are just all young, you know, we work in the industry, we like to party. That's part of like working in it. A lot of people just like to party and drink and what have you. Summertime, blah, blah, blah. And so we would shut down the place, put all the lights down, but we would chill on like this one corner of the patio that could hold, you know, like there would probably be like 15 of us at a time. And we would all chill together and like grab a few bottles and just start pouring up and just start drinking and just vibing out in like in the nice weather at night by ourselves because it was pretty sick. It was just nice. We had the whole place ourselves and et cetera, et cetera. So the last party boat had docked and came in and was like, had been done for a while. Like it was, it was just quiet. Like they were all like seemingly done, nothing going on. And so we're drinking, just having a good time, laughing, having fun. Let's check that out. See how seriously real that chicken is. Seems pretty seriously real to me. Mayo-y. Something I can get behind. So we're all vibing. Out of nowhere. Off the dock, out of the boat. we hear these like shrill screams just screaming freaking out help help da, 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 da. this girl all of a sudden appears from like behind this other boat because there's like two boats and then the dock so so she was like running from this end and then appeared out and then we were like over here <clears throat> she's butt ass naked probably like 20 just screaming sees us runs directly towards us Help, help, oh my god, help me, call the, call the police. She's bleeding and butt naked. And so, like, obviously, we're all like, whoa, what the fuck? We're, like, really taken back by this. She, like, comes up to us, she's like, you have to help me out, I have to call the cops. We're like, okay, okay, for sure, like just come on in and jump over like she like, jumped over the fence like not the fence but there was like this little, like wooden bench jumped over uh, we like went and got her like a t-shirt and like a hoodie or whatever to like wrap around her bottom 
and then a t-shirt to wear and like put her in with us and we're like what's going on and she's like she's like I was just down there hooking up with this guy and all of a sudden and this is where it gets a little less cr crazy it's still like pretty wild but she goes like I guess his girlfriend that she's like I didn't know he even had a girlfriend like found out or heard or knew like that he was down here cheating or whatever and she like came onto the boat stormed onto the boat and like kicked in the door and just started fucking going ham on this girl's face and she's like she's like I just got the shit kicked out of me on this boat by this girl and I was hooking up with the guy and she's like it all just happened so fast and I just I don't know she's like I'm scared I'm terrified and we're like okay okay so whatever so we and you know the cops come and check it all out and see whatever at this time the girl who had done the damage to her had like fled the scene she was just she dipped out and the cops went on the boat and obviously had a word with the guy and all that tried to figure out you know the girl's name and like his girlfriend's name and shit they like questioned her and stuff and as you know as it plays out you know what happened what's your side of the story and all that stuff <clears throat> but in the moment like just seeing a naked girl screaming coming from a boat with blood on her in the moment it was like whoa what the fuck is going on here this seems psycho like it's just girl like trying like so somebody tried to like murder this girl or whatever but it was a little more chill than that in the moment it was really intense um but yeah anyways the cops clearly like helped her out took her home what i'll never understand though is I don't know if I believe that that girl didn't know that she had a girlfriend or whatever. She probably didn't. The guy was probably just being a scumbag and was like, you know, picked a girl up at a party thing. Like, he was probably like the DJ or some shit. You know, he probably had like pull on that ship. Like, he's probably an employee to some degree. Picked up some young girl drunk. Took her down to hook up with her and then shit went bad with the, the, the girlfriend somehow knowing or finding out. <clears throat> My only thing is this. If you ever catch your partner cheating on you, I just don't think it's worth beating up unless it's somebody that you know like unless she knew the girl that's like one of your like friends or acquaintances that who's like you know knows better unless if that if it's a complete random person I don't see the point in beating up the person that is being like played by your boyfriend or girlfriend you know what I mean I feel like all the anger and any sort of like actual physical violence should be saved for <laughs> your partner that's fucking you over. I don't believe that the other person involved should get like your wrath. If they're a random person who just didn't know that this person was in a relationship. And actually that same summer, another pretty intense moment was, it was a weekend, it was like a Saturday, and our patio, like our place holds like a couple hundred people, so it was like 200 people, and it was bopping, it was the, 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 like everything was going, it was like a festival day, lots and lots of people. And all of a sudden from the back corner table, like booth, you hear like people like screaming, freaking out. Oh my God, get help, 911, 911, blah, 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 blah. And like this like path clears. And there was a guy who just, he just started seizing. Like he just started having like a crazy seizure. Like he just fucking like 
passed like 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 went numb passed out hit the decks or like just like jolting like foaming and shit like like just like all fucked up and you know in that moment it's like nobody knows like what's going on with this guy like it's just like is this guy dying right in front of me did he take a bad drug or whatever so we cleared everybody off everybody had to leave except for him and his immediate people the people that were with him and i guess it came down to like that he was uh, has was epileptic and like he didn't have his stuff with him like it, his meds or his oh we got a phone call I'm not answering it. I don't know that person. So just, just stop. Call from four, oh. one, six, eight, seven, really? Eight, oh, seven, I didn't get nine, it the first three eight, times. One. Oh, you're not. You're not done yet. Oh, okay. Call cool. From four, no, I'll wait. Six, eight, it's all good. Seven, six, seven. I'm not doing anything important. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So, turns out he didn't have his uh, epilepsy stuff, whatever you need, I don't know, pills or needle or I, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. But um, <clears throat> he didn't have that. We he like we laid him down, got him like water and stuff and just tried to like make sure he was all good until the paramedics got there. Paramedics took for fucking ever. Eventually got him, got him out. I think he ended up being fine. But in the moment, it was crazy. You just don't know. If somebody's like dying right in front of you kind of thing. It just, especially with like Caesars, they just look like death. So, yeah, that was pretty wild there as well. I'm going to applaud myself for doing the damage that I did on this. Mostly smashed the whole large fries. Crush that big double burger, and I'm pretty much done this. I'm just at the point where I just the bites just aren't enjoyable anymore because I'm full. So maybe a couple lessons learned in that video about being careful when you're closing down places late at night by yourself, always taking the proper precautions, and also just, you know, don't be a cheating ass hoe. Or don't beat up people that don't need to get beat up because your significant other is a piece of shit. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And until the next one, What do you got to do? Eat good. Live well. Stay true.